Hi friends, this is Tammy at the Pine River Public Library, and I'm here with another summer reading story time. This week, our special guest is going to be gardening gurus. We actually have members of the Pine River Seed Library that is going to be here um, to talk about some gardening um, tips, um, and how to get started, and what to watch for, and just how to have fun gardening. So we have a couple books gardening for you today. So here is some ground that we have found. Turn the dirt over up the clover. Give away the grass, give away the weeds right from the start. Here's the seed that we need. Looks like they have some corn seeds that they're going to be planting. The seed is dry. So you work it all up and then you dig a little hole and you drop in your seed. That's probably too many seeds for one hole. And then tap the dirt down on top. Where are the spots? But not a lot. You don't want to drown them. A weed, a weed. No, a weed they do not need. We hold the ground that we have found. We water the spots, we water a lot. When plants are growing, they need sun and water. The corn is born, the corn is born. So they grew some corn and we're going to plant them today. Now I have another one called Modern Garden. Here's your number. A water, a weed, and you take the weed away so that they know you're on their life. It's hard work in my mother's garden. It's very nice. But if I had a garden, ooh, what would she do in her garden? There would be no weeds, and the flowers would keep blooming and blooming and blooming and never die. In my garden, flowers could change color. Just by thinking about it. Pink, blue, green, purple, maybe even some patterns. And if you picked a flower, a little one would go right back in its place. In my garden, the rabbits would eat the lettuce because the rabbits would eat chocolate and I would eat them. If I planted seashells, I would grow seashells. If I planted jelly beans, I'd grow a great big jelly bean bush. Can you imagine walking outside and picking jelly beans out of your own little bush? Sometimes in my garden, good, unusual things would just pop up, like buttons and umbrellas and rusty old keys. In my garden, there would be birds and butterflies by the hundreds so that the air was humming with wings all the time. The tomatoes would be as big as beach balls and the carrots would be invisible because I don't like carrots. At night, the morning glories would stay open, shining like stars and the strawberries would glow like lanterns. It's night now. Only the fireflies and the porch lights are glowing. Before bed, I take one seashell from the shelf in my room and I go to the garden. I hold the seashell into the ground. Who knows what might happen? 
I covered up with dirt and pad down the dirt with my foot. What are you doing? asked Mother. Oh, nothing, I think. Just working in my garden. Wouldn't that be funny if she all of a sudden had seed shells growing in a couple of days? Okay, we have one more fun story for you today. Bunny's Hop. Robin sings, time to plant. It's wake up spring. Grab the hole, bucket, rake. Long black hose looks like a snake. This bunny spot is good for seeds. First we have to pull these leaves. Pick up rocks, smash dirt clumps. Mr. Toad throws off his jumps. Gotta make sure that soil is good and ready. Dig small holes, use the hole. Let our peas have room to grow. Can't plant things too tall steady in the garden. Drop the seeds into the row. Push dirt over with your toe. A hungry crow spots a treat. Go find ants and worms to eat. Don't eat my seeds. These old pants. This old shirt. They will make a scarecrow to stick in the dirt. That'll keep the birds away. Working hard. Hot sun. <sighs> it's work blowing those weeds in the sun, isn't it? Water the garden, and you too. Read our signs, seeds in the ground, peas are growing, please step around. A farm stand trip in popcorn to munch, green carrots by the bunch. Buzzing bees, backyard spring, see our garden, hello spring. They had a lot of fun in their garden, didn't they? That's all we have for this week. We'll see you one more time. Bye-bye.